Hi right, guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman YouTube channel. Today we've got Arthur in the chair. How are you doing? I'm all right. You good, man? Yeah, yeah good. good. So what are we doing today? What's the plan? Ooh, get a haircut. Honestly, change everything up. Okay. Yeah. Well, what are you thinking? What are you thinking of changing to? Well, I'm thinking really leaving a lot up to you, but I don't mind the length. I just, I want something manageable as well. Something right. easy in the morning. Easy in the morning. Okay, uh, yeah. yeah. Let's see the ideas that you've got so we can see yeah, where, you, where, 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 you're, uh, where you're going with it. Oh, okay. I'm okay. thinking something more... Wow, they're all very different. Like we've got a mullet. Yep. Got another one. A mullet as well. That's kind of similar, I guess. And then obviously you've got the longer mm. medium lengths. Which ones out of them are you sort of? I'm thinking more along the mullet. Oh really? This one. Okay. But I'm not sure exactly whether it'll suit me or. It's it's a creative hairstyle. Yeah. It's not really a sort of hairstyle that you'd say, oh, let's get this for, mm. you know, to, to kind of like say suit a face shape. It's kind yeah, of yeah. more of a creative it's... one. I mean, mullets are great, don't get me wrong, but it's not kind of the scope of work that you said at the start. Yeah. Low maintenance is to do. It's probably going to be a bit more upkeep, if anything, yeah. because of the hair at the back. But, I mean, if you just want to do it, you can still do it. Don't get me wrong, it's entirely up to yourself, but... I mean, what would you recommend personally for... It's hard, mate, for me, because mm. your hair's so long, and mm. I've only just met you. It's very hard. It's not as easy as just kind of thinking of a style. Um, right. I don't know anything about you. So what I think would look great on you, I've got to then take into account work, lifestyle, um, how often do you wash your hair, mm. what products are you going to use, you, do you know how to use a hairdryer? Mm. There's loads of things that we have to kind of discuss before I can think of something, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, based on what you, I mean, even even the, the, the what you've got in your board, it's so varied. I don't know if you know what you want, so it's hard for mm. me to decide what you want if you don't really know what you want either. Are you going to wear products in your hair every day? Yeah. You will do, yeah? Okay. What is it about your hair now that you, you're wanting such a big transformation for? Honestly, right now it's getting a bit too long. It's a bit unmanageable, especially with strands at the front. I can't tie them back yeah. like I used to be able to. Yeah. You can you can get away with a lot of different looks because it's got a finer, softer mm -hmm. texture. So if you wanted to have it still, so you could have some sort of flow and movement in the top, you could. Mm -hmm. If you want to have something short and textured, you could. You've even got the hairline to have a, a, a crop as well. You know, you, you, you are literally like a, a complete blank okay. canvas. Is there anything you'd want to add into what you'd like as well? Aesthetic, maybe. Um, I've got you, wavy hair as well. Yeah. I'd like to accentuate that as well. Um, How wavy is it when it goes short? It can be brought out with product, but okay. it's not... Um, okay. We've got to kind of really think about what it is you'd really like. Like, to bring out the wave, we wouldn't be able to do it if we went for the first picture. Yeah. But if you kept the length in the hair... Like, there was one picture that I was kind of drawn to. This that one, one there, yeah. I was thinking something. I thought that, I think that personally, because he's very lean in the face, mm -hmm. but it fills up the face because of the hair. I would imagine yeah. if this is high maintenance, this would be much more low maintenance yeah. for you. But it just depends on whether that's short enough for you. So it depends what, what you'd like to sort of like, would you like to accentuate? Would you like a center part? Is that there? Yeah. You know, it would be aesthetically good for you because you, how, how sharp your jawline is. That mm -hmm. would look great because you'd, you'd have the softness at the top and then the sharpness at the bottom. So that would look quite nice. But I think it just depends on whether that is something that, I know you've put it in your board, yeah. but we've never we, we haven't mentioned that one yet at all. Something similar to this. Okay. Um, Should we tweak it though? Should we maybe try and tweak it where we can put in some sort of like maybe maybe tapering the neckline really nice and yeah, tight? Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And doing something where something. you can see something really sharp at yeah, the bottom, yeah. but then you've got like flow and something else going on, maybe a bit more towards the top. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know if it's possible, but not, nothing specifically for a middle part. Something no. that can change maybe yeah, the yeah. side part. Hundred percent, yeah. definitely. Yeah. But yeah, if you're happy with that, that'll be cool. Yeah, I'm happy. Come on. Awesome. All right, man. Well, let's let's um, let me get you gowned up. Okay. I'll whip the hair off first, and then we can uh, we can go. We'll give it a wash. We'll from there all right so fine any any last requests before we take it off no 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 <laughs> so how long have you had your hair long for Ooh, i've been growing out for three years probably around now really yeah wow. i think the last time i had a haircut was roughly december of 2019 so wow. Just before okay. Christmas. Um, I mean, when did you get the fringe done? It was a couple of months ago. I can't remember exactly. Right. What, what made you get the fringe done? Well, I saw wolf cuts. That I really wanted Ah, to okay, see. okay. So I just had somebody that we knew. Oh, okay. Um, you know, follow a tutorial. Yeah. So oh, did you? Yeah. No way. That's awesome. Yeah, the wolf cut's really popular, actually, isn't it? It's yeah. really popular, yeah. Would you consider doing it? I would, honestly. But like you said, the maintenance... Let me, let me have a little look. Wait there, wait there, wait there. Before we do anything. Okay. I mean, no, it's 27. Let's mm. have a little look at this one. Let's see what 27 styles are. Quite mm. cool. It's quite nice. Yeah, that's pretty nice, I'm thinking. That's nice. Yeah. I mean, they, they are nice. 
I mean, to be honest, maintenance wise, in some ways, they're not that high maintenance mm. because the, the style's cut in. It's just, obviously you've got to go and get it cut again and again and again. So I think, I mean, I think it's one of those, we, we'd have to just do it and see. In terms of style and maintenance, they're probably not too bad, you know, mate, if I'm honest. Mm, I, think, I think you choose it though, you know. Which one are you, cause I keep going back to that one, yeah. right? Cause I like the, I love, I love the fade in it, but I think if you keep on length somewhere within the within the back, it wouldn't matter going too short on the sides. Mm -hmm. It's just when you take the whole back and sides mega short is when you is when I think it wouldn't really work for your face shape. That's mm -hmm. awesome, but that's high maintenance. Mm -hmm. But that would be awesome, and I think you could definitely make that work on your haircut. That's obviously longer. We you've, you've got you've still got the length for that as well. Again, that's the one we've we mm -hmm. kind of come across, which is quite nice. I don't know what whether your you know, with a wave maybe it might work. I think we might have to maybe pick a, a selection mm -hmm. between a few of them. Thinking, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's quite nice as well. Yeah. That's wicked. Yeah. If you go up a bit, I'm thinking, yeah, something between that and maybe this one. Okay. Um, so when you say between, what bits of this one do you like compared to the bits of this one you don't like, for example? The length. Okay. I mean, it's in between. What I mean is in between. So in between both yeah. lengths. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Um, I like the, you know, the little taper on the side. Yeah, um, yeah. Maybe bring it out to the back a bit more. Yeah. I'm not yeah. sure about that. The top. Heavily textured. Yeah. Yeah. Something. Yeah, exactly. With texture, I think this one as well, especially. Mm, yeah. That'd be nice. I think we're gonna have to just mix it all up, mm. you know, and make our yeah. own. The art or wolf cut, maybe. We yeah. are. You are the best blank canvas you'll ever be. Why? <laughs> why don't we? Why don't we just do it? Yeah. Let's go see on. what happens. Let's do it. And then, and then, if it doesn't work, if you don't like it, just always. change it. It's always it can, the thing is we're we're taking it to a hairstyle that you can always change because mm. you'd be happy to go with short. Yeah. So if you're not a fan of it. Then we'll just come short. Yeah. I think you will though. I think if you've picked these haircuts, I think you'd I think and you've tried to get one done before, let's do it properly. Of course. Yeah, yeah I'm man. happy with that. All right, cool. Sweet. I'm not gonna do this now. Okay. Right, you can have your bobble back. Oh, you still let you me just grab it. Just keep oh, hold of that, all right. You start to still be used for memories, but you still oh. be able to have that. This is a strange feeling. What's that, sorry? It's a bit of a strange feeling. Have you never had your hair washed no, in the place before? No. no. Oh, wait, anyway, you've, you've come to the right place then, mate. There we go. It's all about experiences, man. <laughs> right, guys, so I've just shampooed and conditioned Arthur's hair. Now, we were having a little chat uh, at the backwash, and I think this is probably going to be... Arthur was saying he's going, to, he's going off to uni soon as well. And I was thinking, if we cut this in to such a, a strong shape, this is actually probably going to be the most low-maintenance hair style I could ask for, because it's cut into the shape. And I think something like a wolf cut, looking at the ones that we've, like all the different selections now, I think you could probably get someone to do that for you, especially if it was just the sides. You could leave the top and the back to grow out and just get the sides. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's actually probably going to be more low maintenance than I think I was probably anticipating it to be based on the pictures we saw, you know? So I'm going to start off first by cutting in the back, okay? okay. So I'm going to start off by doing a T-section, the front. Like so, cut the shape in. So glad I asked again if you were, if they any last request. <laughs> Just imagine yeah. if I'd never have done that, right? We, 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 we wouldn't have anything like this now. No, it would have been completely different. It would have been completely different, mate. And then I know we said we're going to take it a little bit further round the ear, okay? But mm -hmm. we'll do that as we come to the clipper work in a bit, okay? Of course. I just want to cut the shape in first. So I'm just basically separating the back so I can work on the back first and cut this shape in. So like you said, like the two pictures, a bit of an in-between, between length. So not, not mega short, but also not mega long. So just that kind of right in between. I think if it was just sort of bang on the collar, yeah. I think it would be a good length. And then everything would be really softened from there. All right, All right. that would be a good length. And I still want to maintain a nice square shape as well for the back. That will really balance into the top as well. How are we going to wear the top? The same in the first few snips. Yeah, man. Well, that's my first section done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut in to this bit now. I'll be a very heavily point cutting technique. Really nice texture finish. So I'm still cutting in primary shape, but again, this is more of a creative element, okay? So I'm creating a very jagged finish on the actual cuts itself as well. And if you have a look at the sections that I'm taking, very thin, but also look at the guide. 
really jagged, which is perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Right. There we go. So what's a lot I like about these kind of hairstyles is that it's a mixture of like soft finish with harsh clipper work. Reminds me of like when I first sort of started cutting hair together. You know, when I was starting off, like the sort of early 2000s, I had the V cut and the mullet, a very heavily textured finish, but with a mixture of them kind of finishes as well. A little bit of artistic flair coming out, you know, using a lot of your, using a lot of your own understanding to kind of make something work. A few mixtures of techniques, it's quite nice. There we go, with my guide. I can't see how much you've cut off, but I can feel it. You can feel it, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a good amount. It's, it's, I'm trying to think of that in-between mm. cut of like the one you showed me, the guy with the, the black curly hair, that was quite long, mm. and then the other guy who had a very short. So I'm trying to do the in-between of that, which is what you said. So kind of keeping it just off the neck, but still with length into texture, you know what I mean? So that is the, that is the plan. Smack bang in the middle of that. Again, using the guides I've been working on. There we go. There we go, so matching both sides. So what do now? I'm going to start to trim the neck hair so I can see exactly where the bottom will fall. Section off the bottom here, like so. Best way to deal with any nape whirls, anything like that. When you when you keep a length in the back, it's just to remove the basically the, the cowlick at the back. That's the best thing to do because we leave so much hair hanging over it. We cut the shape in them. She's still having that change and then obviously what we'll do is we'll take this in a bit more through here when we come to the clipper work as well so it's not too long through this corner here neither so what I'm going to do I'm going to put the texture through here now so I'll pick it up I'll eat it up slide right up to my comb okay, to really break that up Give that broken end finish as well. That's the back pretty much cut in until it dries off as well. Now we're gonna move on to the front then. So I want to give you a nice softer kind of finish at the front. So would you be happy to go for that kind of fringe look that we were looking at on one of the pictures? Would you be happy yeah, for that? I'd be yeah, I'd happy with that, honestly. Sweet man. It's a bit of a mixture of a few different hairstyles, really, the way you do this technique. So I'm doing this almost like I'm doing a crop. Same so kind of uh, build a bit of weight in it, create a little movement and shape. Instead of not gonna be building the weight at the front, I'm gonna just be cutting in the fringe. Put this down just below the eyebrows so I've got room to texturize it as well. As you can see, everything is very, very soft uh, in terms of the finish. Nothing's blunt, really. Thank you. 
I'm going to take a section from the back that we've cut from the T-section and use that as my guide. I'm going to pick that up. Here's my guide from the back section there, like so. That's how we keep everything sitting balanced to the back. You know, it's quite strange seeing, seeing it just like this already. Is it? Yeah. yeah. It will be. It will be. Like I said, it's such a, it's such a kind of a, a cut-in hairstyle, mm. but it looks great. It looks so good though, and it's done. Like, I, I think they're really nice haircuts. I wish more people would try and would kind of mm. go for them. You know. It has a lot of personality as well, and see, it's hundred percent. It's almost like really bespoke to you though as well. You know what I mean? That's the, that's yeah, the beauty of it. You know, you got what I mean? to tailor it to yourself, innit? Yeah, you do. That's exactly it. You do. Pull that up now when we get to the front. Pull that up past the crown. So thinking now you've obviously seen the haircut come into, into life. How do you want the sides cut? Do you want me to do you want me to do like a fade on them? Or do you prefer me to like go down to like would you like me to do a skin taper on them or something like or just for a bit of a contrast or would you prefer something a bit longer? I think maybe for now, honestly, skin. Yeah. Pretty short. Yeah. Lay growing. A bit like the 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 picture of the guy. Um, I think of the fa of the first one we saw where the, yeah. it's faded here completely and it's into the and he's got like dark hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now I'm starting to work on this now horizontal through the sides here. So this is where I start to create. Where I want my taper to go to. I'm going to take a section from here and use that as my guide on the left hand side there. Finish off at the front and just raise her into this. It's like either really broken up. I like the kind of effect that you're trying to go for, really. Right, we'll just try this off. So we'll put a little bit of leave-in conditioner. Mm -hmm. This has gone from like quite long to short. And so keep it nice and soft. Now, I'll work on the fade. I haven't even noticed all of it. I wasn't paying attention. I know. This is where you see the fade comes in now. And they create a nice faded sides, like a taper on the sides. <laughs> Mad, isn't it? Yeah.
Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fine tune the uh, edging. So this is going to really bring it to life, especially the, the fade down here as well. So I'm working in temples. I'll work into the fringe as well in a second. Shape around the edges here as well. And then bend that right out into nothing. That was a sort of one of the little kind of requests that I to put in. Let's taper this bit out here. So let's do that. Taper this in as well. Just turn out that bit there as well. And through the blend as well. Yo mate, that's it done. What do you think? You happy? Yeah, very happy. Yeah? Honestly. Thanks man. Looks amazing. What we'll do is um, I'll finish off with some matte paste mm -hmm. and we'll style it out properly, okay? Right. So you really start to see the full sort of uh, texture and everything else going on with it. All right? Mm -hmm. Sweet man. So, I'm use a bit of the label end matte paste. Okay. It's a good one to use. Very, very uh, pliable. Right hand for the top, left hand for the back. That's the way I do it, all right? So you're getting an equal amount to it all, okay? And then work it into the top, like that. And then into the back, like that. And then whatever you've got left on your hands, work through it all. All right? And then like that four, wherever you like. So I recommend maybe we bring your fringe down a bit, so you've got a lot of movement sitting through there. So you can see that blend sitting through the back and the sides, just through here, this little bit here. Then you've got all the shape through the back, so you've got that texture and everything sitting through there. And then everything can just fall, and again, let's bring out a bit of that wave, you know? Let's twist and pull bits to make the top sit very heavily textured. And that is our little auto wolf cut. Completely tailored to how you wanted it, mate. Honestly, it looks, like I said, exactly a mix between the ones that I've showed you, honestly. Yeah, definitely, mate. Are you happy then, yeah? yeah. Nice, man. What a transformation that was, mate. I mean, from when you walked in, yeah. that is, couldn't have thought of anything, anything Whole like new this. Person, honestly. Whole new person, man. Yeah, definitely. And then you just show off all that texture of wheels. So that is the sort of finish that you get, right? So there's the back as well. So you see it comes yeah. down the bottom. Ooh. You get the bottom yeah. left, so it's not as long as the picture, but it's not yeah. as short as the first one. And you've got all that texture sitting through it, and it blends into a fade on the sides. Yeah. And then it can sit everywhere else as well. Yeah, it's lovely. It's cool, isn't it, man? Yeah, yeah, man. It's wicked. I love it. Thank you very much, mate. That was a real pleasure to do that, mate. Well, no, real thank, pleasure. Thank you, mate. You're very welcome. You. Thank you, man.